Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to be working with primary keys and populating them using uh, the create method and a database sequence, which is a object you create in the database that is unique to Oracle and uh, very useful for populating incremental number type fields that you need because it um, automatically creates a new record every time you create a new record or a new value, I should say. Well, first of all, I'm going to just create a ADF application and um, not too concerned about it uh, because this is a demo. And um, I will go over and add the database and we'll just drag that in. There it is. And we'll just work with the model at this point because um, we can do everything that we need to test from the model. I'm just going to take that and um, I'm not even concerned about naming because really I'm just going to be testing. And we'll add it to the application model and finish it up. Okay, let's take a look. You'll see that the flash ID is a big decimal and you can see that it's mandatory here which is um, often the sign that it's a um, primary key also if we go over to the validation rules that you can see that it's a database constraint if you go over to the database um, navigator you can actually look in the table itself Double click on it and you'll get this thing and you'll see that um, it doesn't tell you here, but if you go over to constraints, you can see that it is in fact a primary key. And if you want to, you can actually create a, um, it's a data definition language value of it and you can see that they're creating a primary key here. So it does have a primary key and that means that you have to incrementally add a, a number to it. You can use a bar car or character string if you want to, but um, numbers are more efficient. And uh, the best way to do it at is with a sequence. If we come down and look at sequences here, you can see that I have a flash seek and double click on it. There we go. And if you press down here, you can see the SQL. Uh, you'll see that the start with is 466 and increment by one. The min value and the max value are set. So you can actually um, use this kind of field, uh, use this kind of text to create a sequence in your table. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is come over to the entity. And you'll notice that the flash ID is big decimal. We're going to come over to here and we're going to create an entity object class and we're going to create the create method along with it. This will create the Java file that we use and you'll see that we have the set flash ID and it's a big decimal value. At the very bottom we have the create method. Now I usually put my code right here and I am going to copy and paste the code I use because I often repeat the same text. <coughs> Excuse me. And you get this you have to press alt enter and then you get this little pop up and you can select it. You'll notice that the set sequence number is still in red. We'll leave that there for a minute or two. And the other thing that we need to do is say this dot set flash and you can then choose the value. Now the value that we're going to set is calling this sequence with this uh, string in it. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in minus a few extra um, things here. And you can see now that this is also in red. And why would that be? Well, perhaps I need to put an extra parentheses in there. But even still, the main reason is, is that this is a number. And the set, uh, or sorry, here it is, set flash ID is a big decimal. So you could probably cast it, but I find that uh, the easier thing to do is to change this to a number. 
Now, in, in previous versions of JDeveloper, I've noticed that this comes in as a number when you create it. It's only this. Okay, so, and um, also one thing to note, do not choose DB sequence, choose the number since we're populating it. I believe this is the DB sequence is when you use it in a trigger. You have a trigger in the database creating the value. Don't use that for this particular thing. Okay, so let's go back to our Java. First of all, you can notice that um, this is now Oracle domain, JBO do, dot domain dot number. Um, I've seen it change to just number also, and you'll see down here that the this dot set flash ID is still wrong. Create method set flash ID. I'm just going to copy and paste my original n. Whoops, that was a total mess. I took off the this, okay? Um, so that seems to work now. Let's just test that for a second. All right, that's working now. <clears throat> Something was a little bit messed up. So um, you don't have to have the this there, but um, it brings up that little drop down when you're typing it uh, more easily. So I often put that in just to test it. Okay, so now we've got our creation of the primary key in here. We're going to run it. Okay, we double click on the flash view and we get the data, which is great to see. We press one, we get 466. I'm just going to put some values in here and we're going to save it. And then we press another one. Oh, what is this? Okay. Uh, this is entirely in, intentional, by the way, because um, I wanted to um, explain that the constraint is violated here, as you can see. Um, it has to be a unique value. And if you ever get this, the first thing that you should wonder is, is, is this flash ID sequence number that's being created actually the highest number that's in the table? or does it already exist in the table? And to do that, we can do a number of things. Um, let's go over to our tools, database, SQL worksheet, gets the table in there. And we will do, first of all, select well, max flash ID from flash. And you can press F5 or F9, F9 will run just the line you're on and 521 gee what was our sequence creating in fact if we went over here and we saw that the the sequence was creating 466 that leads us to believe that in fact uh, we've got a little problem here now the other thing that we can do is select star from flash where flash id equals 467 which was the number that we tried to populate it with, and we get a record. I actually expected 466 to cause it. Um, this is some testing that I put in earlier. In fact, if we do 468, there's some gummy numbers like this in there. So um, there. So I was just messing around earlier testing this. Uh, but in fact, this does cause a problem once in a while. So Really, the easiest thing to do, excuse me, is to come over here and, well, you wouldn't do this, your DBA would. I like to drop it and just recreate it, but you can actually alter it. Um, and I'm going to, what was that, 521? I'll just do 555. I don't have, you know, I didn't. That number really doesn't mean much to me. It's just an incremental number. I think I have to run this first. If you press F9, it will run one at a time. And uh, I have a slow connection. If you press F5, it'll run both at once. And it's sometimes nicer to press F9 and see it run. OK, now when we run it, um, the next value that we get 
for the flash ID should be 555 or uh, let's see what we get. Oftentimes you do a select star from dual or next valve from dual and you'll get it. Okay, we're on this uh, 555. How about that? But uh, the number, the max number in the table is 521, so there's plenty of room here and we can save it. Okay, so uh, I hope that was helpful in understanding um, sequences, oracle sequences, and how they work, um, and um, how to populate them in Oracle, at least one way to populate them in Oracle ADF applications. Have a good evening.